Hey, good morning, Facebook. This is Tracy Minkin. I'm the travel editor at Coastal Living Magazine, and I am in New Smyrna Beach, which is called NSB in Florida on assignment for Coastal Living. And I'm standing outside with you this morning and a beautiful sunrise outside the Black Dolphin Inn. And I've been staying here for a day and having the most wonderful experience reporting in NSB. And I had such a good breakfast yesterday made by Mackenzie Smith, who is the daughter of innkeepers Brett and Sheila Smith here at Black Dolphin. And I loved it so much, I asked her if she would make it and teach me how to do it on camera with all of you on Facebook Live this morning. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm outside, it's gorgeous out here, but we're gonna go inside. The inn has a really cool open kitchen. Guests come down and all line up. We're cooking before the guests come down so we can have Mackenzie's full attention before everybody comes. A bunch of guys went out fishing early this morning. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna go inside, meet Mackenzie and her mom, and get cooking. So here we go, I'm gonna flip it. And that's that's the Indian River right there. I'm gonna spin around. And this is the gorgeous porch of the inn. Y'all have to come down and stay here, read my piece about it online. So beautiful. Hey everybody, I see you logging in. Good morning, Facebook. So here is the lobby. Is this not so cool? Mom. And this is Mackenzie Smith. Hey, Mackenzie. Hi. And this is Sheila. This is Hi. Mackenzie's mom. You guys look great. I'm going to come around. Come with me, Facebook. We're going in. And we're coming into the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Where all the magic happens. Mac this is Mackenzie Smith. Mackenzie, can you tell us a little bit about yourself before you get cooking with us? Yeah, sure. So I'm Mackenzie. Uh, you might also know me as Girl Cheese Social. I'm a Florida girl, born and raised here, moved to New York for a little bit, and now I'm back. And um, this morning I'm going to show you how to make a few of the Black Dolphin's classic breakfast dishes. Super cool. Yeah. People, by the way, are saying good morning. We just said good morning from Tennessee. Like, people are online with us. It's awesome. super fun. Well, All right, well, let's get everybody. cooking. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to make is a brulee grapefruit. And this is kind of like one of my favorite retro uh, breakfast appetizers, if that really exists. But we're basically taking a Florida Ruby Red orange, cutting it, or I'm sorry, grapefruit, <laughs> <laughs> cutting it in half. Oh my god, so pretty. I'm gonna close it on this. Uh, so Florida. And you guys it. can't smell this, but it's out of control. <laughs> it smells so good. Um, then we've just got some light brown sugar, and this is a really easy breakfast thing, a little starter dish. Um, we'll just take some pat it down, kind of like making creme brulee, but without all the hard work. Super so, cool. So we'll do this, rinse my hands off so I don't get sugar everywhere. And then we'll fire up our torch. Now you can buy torches like this, right? At like kitchen stores, you can get them online. This is a little oh, yeah. creme brulee torch. You can have this in your kitchen. Yeah, this one is like a big one. It's for like restaurant supplies, but um, yeah, I have a little one in my house that's fits in the drawer. It's really cute. I got it at William Sonoma, I think. Yeah. So we just do this, not too close, but not too far away. And you'll see the sugar starting to candy. And this is what gives you that real nice crispy crust. So I'll just do it for a few minutes, let it get some color. I had one of these yesterday, Facebook, and it was amazing. It's yeah. so delicious. You crack through the crust with your spoon, and then underneath is just that delicious ruby red grapefruit. Yeah, you it's have it for dessert, you know? Totally. You have it for breakfast. It's so good, and it's so easy and quick to make, and it looks really fancy, which is the funnest part. So cool. So we'll just do this one for another minute or two. Get some bubbles going. People, by the way, are saying good morning from Mississippi, Bucharest, Vietnam, oh my New goodness. Hampshire, Canada, Michigan. We have the best. We have the best followers in the universe. That is amazing. Well, Wonderful. we're so glad to have you guys here in New Smyrna. <laughs> Woo! I know. I told everybody we call it NSB. Right? NSB, yeah. <laughs> NSB, the place to be. Totally. <laughs> so now that these are good, we'll let this one cool for a minute. But I always just top it with a little bit of fresh mint. 
great. Constantly just picking all the tops off. So put it down like that. And then top with the maraschino cherry. There's the retro touch we love. Right? Super fun. And then I'll do this one. Get the little top off. Put it down. And voila! You've got, oop! <laughs> that, I love it. The perils of life. The, the perils of life. But yeah, you can see it's super crunchy. Oh, that's It'll super cut cool. right through. Be really sure to fun. serve it with a grapefruit spoon. Yeah, absolutely. Voila! Plate it up, ready to go. There we go. Love it. Yep. And money that, shot. Money shot, right. This for Instagram. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, love it. there's our first course, first everybody. Course. Easy to make. First course, ready to go. Next, after I wipe down my station, you don't want to have a dirty station ever. Nope. <laughs> um, now we're going to be making one of my favorite little biscuit breakfast sandwiches. And this has um, biscuits, some homemade bacon jam that I actually made over the weekend. Oh, so and good. this stuff is so good. It's literally bacon rendered down really slowly, and then you add onions to the fat, cook it all down with brown sugar. Um, vinegar, I add coffee, cumin, chili powder, sometimes a little bit of bourbon if I have it on hand. Um, Sounds good to me, Mackenzie. Yeah, and you just <laughs> let it cook for three to four hours and it reduces into this like amazing bacony caramelized oh. onion paste. Dear Lord. Mackenzie, I know we're going to post recipes um, later so yeah. that viewers can get them and we'll put them to Facebook. Um, is this a recipe we can get? Yeah, I have it. I have the recipe on my website and my about.com oh, sandwich expert page right now. Perfect. So yeah. we'll be able to link to it so our friends can make it. Okay, so great. we'll get going. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll cook the egg. And I've just got a nonstick pan. Fire up our oven. I'm going to come around. Come on around. By the way, here's some pretty fruits that are going out a little later this morning for guests when they roll in. And uh, right, we're at the breath since we stuff. cook so much bacon, we're all about that sustainableness. So we actually use the bacon grease to cook all of our eggs because Delicious. there's yeah. no way we're throwing away all that goodness. So you just will take that bacon grease when it's rendered and pour it into something, and then you can always just scoop it out. Yeah, and this was actually my grandma's crock, my Mimi's crock. So oh, that's she so had cool. that bacon grease since I was a little girl, and when she passed away, we brought it here. Aww. Yeah, it's sweet. Okay, so. To begin with, I'm going to go ahead and just crack the egg. I've got a little bit of my house seasoning that I use. Are you going to tell us what's in there or is that secret? Uh, I'll tell you that it's a good mix of herbs and spices. <laughs> Very political. And some sugar. And some sugar, actually. That's kind of the, I guess, the hidden ingredient, the secret ingredient. All right. So we'll you heard it here on Facebook. Yeah. Sugar. And then, um, Take a biscuit. Got some of the grapefruit juice on that. Cut it in half. Melt some butter on our skillet thing. And while that egg is cooking, I'm just going to toast it up. And this is a classic southern biscuit. Mackenzie, we talked a little bit earlier about yeah, bread but, choices. This is just a buttermilk biscuit. Um, great option to use when you're making breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and Mackenzie, you're kind of a sandwich guru, right? You want to, while we're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am so, I interrupting the flow to ask you about no, like no. your sandwich empire? No, it's all like good. A dream. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been the sandwich expert for about.com for about two years now. Yeah. Every month I come out with about eight recipes. Um, and this month I'm working on grilled cheese because it's National Grilled Cheese Month. Oh my God. So I'm I just, obsessed. yeah, I just made uh, 50 grilled cheese sandwiches and there's a big slideshow you can view and that's about.com slash sandwiches. Cool. So as this egg cooks, I'm just going to do sunny side because we want that yolk pop to be real yummy and delicious looking. So I'll just cook it once it's able to flip. Going. I'm try to get the, there we go. Check this guy out. Looking good. Toasting up real nice. I'm going to add some of the bacon jam to the side of the skillet. Because I just like when it's all hot and 
bacony and good. We put it in the refrigerator, but it's better when it's like this. All right. So we'll go ahead and bring this over here. I've got a little bit of Munster cheese that I'm actually just going to put it right in the pan as well. Get the grease off that. Bring it over here. Oh, sorry. Trying to keep up with the yeah, action yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Cool. Okay, so. And I feel like breakfast sandwiches, I mean, they're not a traditional thing, obviously. That's, that's kind of a new thing, but they become so huge. Like, Oh, yeah. And you can do so much with them. Like, yeah. It's so fun to work around, um, you know, the classic just bacon, egg, and cheese when, I mean, this is kind of like that. Like, we're using Munster. So, look at that. Wait, I'm coming in. Yeah, come on in. Oh. Delicious monster yes. cheese. Ooh, so good. And then all that just melted right down. Yeah. Oh. I'll add some of the bacon jam. Oops. I'll go like this. Oh, sorry. Nice. Thank you. So you can see all that extra grease. <laughs> and this smells so good. It's got yeah, like. Guys, I wish we had like we could smell on Facebook. Yeah, that'd be I'm so dying here. Um, and then we'll just take the egg. It's cool enough to where I can touch. Also, I've got chef hands, so. Yeah. Keep that in Asbestos mind. Don't, hands don't burn yourself. Kids. Look at that. And we'll just do it like that. I've also decided that this is one of the sandwiches that it's not. you're not going to want to put it down. You're going to want to just take it. Two and hands. I'm, and I'm going to go oh ahead. God, look at the yolk. I'm going to do it. You guys do ready? It. You're do ready? It. Do it and pull back. Oh. oh! That's what we're talking about. That's <laughs> the yolk pop for everybody. That's amazing. That's a sign of a good breakfast. Mackenzie, you are a wizard. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. So you can repeat that. I like to use them as little breakfast sliders when we've got a bunch of men in the hotel going surfing. That's a great idea. Going fishing. It's good fuel for that. Um, yeah. And then if we have time, we'll go ahead and make another recipe. We're at 12 minutes. We want to shoot up some French toast or how do you feel about it? Yeah, I think we can do it pretty quick. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I'll run you through Come my process. Facebook. We're going to make an awesome French toast. Because it's a little it's a little different. So I just packed a few eggs. Just throw those in the sink. I'm going to start with just three eggs. And then I whisk in brown sugar. While this is getting together, emulsifying, I add um, like instant chai mix. I think it's really aromatic. It's got all the spices that you want. And it kind of gives like this unexpected little depth to French toast. Where can so, people get instant? I just got oh, it's it just at, like at instant the chai? Store. Yeah, just like chai latte mix. Cool. So sure. now that all this is mixed in with the egg yolk, we'll pour in our half and half. And this is cool because sometimes when you make it all the cinnamon and everything close to the top and your first like few pieces are just coated in the cinnamon sugar and then there's some left. So I use half and half because let's not play, we're in the south here. <laughs> so if you're gonna have if you're gonna do it, do it right. Yeah. And because New Smyrna is tropical paradise, I'm gonna do um Basically a guava duff inspired French toast. So okay. I've got guava paste and I've just sliced a few little thin pieces up. And guava paste you can get at a lot of grocery stores. You just need to know where to look. Yeah, right? it's usually like in the, um, I guess the Hispanic aisle. Mm -hmm. You can find like guava jam, guava paste. I like the paste because it's a little bit more concentrated. Yeah. And this is cream cheese. Yeah, it is. Because I'm a grilled cheese girl and I gotta have the cheese. So you basically just fold it together. Wow. So just another whisk. And you can see how everything just kind of stayed together. Nothing really like, yeah. it's not all at the top, it's everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and get some butter going on our on our griddle. Griddle again. Yeah. And like, Ooh. why use anything but butter? It's also, the best. Yeah. It's the best. I'm going to take that off. Ah, hot butter. Hot butter. All right. And so. Bring this over here so we're not dripping raw egg everywhere. Just give it a little dunk. Try to not let it get in the middle because okay, so you're never... just trying to touch the edges of it in the exactly. Place. Got it. And on to the griddle. And on to the griddle. And our griddle's pretty hot. We have it as hot as it goes. It says okay. 450, but I think that might be 
an overestimate. I think it's more around 375. Okay. And if you were on a conventional oven, medium, medium high? Maybe? I would say medium. Okay. Start okay. medium, and if you see it taking too long, then give it a little more. Feel free to yeah, bump up the heat and cool. get it going. But we'll just cook this for a few minutes on each side. You'll start to see the bread gets that nice French toast. I guess it's called like a golden marble. I guess that's what I'll call it. And um, yeah, we'll just let it cook for a few minutes on each side and then we'll be ready to go. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely great. So can you tell us a little about while we're waiting for our French toast to cook, what you love about your home, well, it's your hometown. You've come back from New York. You were a Brooklynite. Yeah. What do you love about this place? You know, of the six years that I was in New York, I was never moving back to Florida. I was totally identified with being a New Yorker. And then I came back and I was just like, this place is truly magical. I say every day that it's tropical paradise. The pace is a lot slower, yeah. but in a good way. Everyone's relaxed and happy. <laughs> and you know, you look outside every morning at the hotel and there's little baby dolphins jumping and mama dolphins and manatees. And um, our beach is actually known as a shark bite capital of the world. <laughs> but don't be scared because they're not like attacks. They're just little nips. <laughs> Um, I love that's the differentiation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, they just nibble at your toes. Yeah, and, and it just, doesn't really. I, we don't want to freak people out. Like, no, no, no. It's not no. scary at all. Like my boyfriend is a professional surfer, and he surfed in the water every day of his whole life. He he's, is he's in a competition right now, right? Yeah, he's in literally surfing. right now. So yeah. everyone wish him luck. He's on a team with the other professional surfer, CJ Hopgood. Cool. So after this, we'll be driving down there. Go Shout out to out. Jeremy. Shout out to Jeremy. <laughs> Heading out into the waves this morning. Yeah. We hung out yesterday at the beach. It was awesome. Yeah. But the sharks are more of a thing to talk about rather than something to be scared of. There you go. Yeah. That but I love it. To me. It's just a beautiful place with so much wildlife. Oh, look at that. Golden marbling, 100%. Yeah, there so we go. Yummy. Doesn't that look good? So good. And again, Facebook, I wish you could smell it. Oh, yeah. Hello, Egypt. Egypt is saying hello. Whoa, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. But, but yeah, so you guys have to come to New Smyrna. It's a beach town. There's waves every day. Our Mosquito Lagoon actually has more species of flora and fauna than anywhere in the whole country. And it's because we have a bunch of ecosystems merging here. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. You'll see pics soon, I'm sure. Yeah, um, we'll follow along great on, content. Yeah, follow along on Instagram. You'll see... Um, you know, a bunch of beautiful stuff, and NSB Inlet is uh, the account handle that you should be following if you want to get like a nice idea of the landscape and the people. We'll post the handles, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. so people can stay up to speed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this. It's not as good, yep. but let's plate it. Yeah, we'll plate it because we're hungry. We're hungry. Facebook is hungry. We're all ready to and eat. And we've got all of our guests coming down soon. Yep. Do you want syrup or honey? Um. I think we're good. I'm just gonna use powdered sugar. That was Sheila talking. My mama, my beautiful mama. So that's the beautiful mama. <laughs> so happy to have my baby girl with us. <laughs> so cool to have a family affair. And Sheila, you taught high school, right? Yes. Before coming sort of back into the family to do this. Right. So you're running the inn now with your husband. Yep. And your son and your daughter. And, and great new Smarnakudas. We yeah. love them. <laughs> Super, super cool. Thanks. Yeah, yeah we're okay, just Mama so happy to be here. <laughs> Mama gets shy. So here we've got it just plated real nice. I've got these cute little butter buds. And since I just picked a bunch of mint, we'll go ahead and use this. Fun. And some edible hibiscus if you're in the mood. Just put it right it's here, I guess. In Florida. And yeah, just finish with a little bit of... And you would put lots of bacon on that plate. Yeah, there would be <laughs> plenty of bacon. We would do that, guys. Yeah. Would we not? And so that is our guava duff. French toast stack. So we've got the French toast, we've got the breakfast egg sandwich, mm -hmm. and we've got the ruby red grapefruit brulee. And yes. we've been hanging out, cooking and eating breakfast with Mackenzie. Mackenzie, thank you so much. You're welcome. This has been so fun. Thank yeah. you guys for coming. And hello to everyone who tuned in. It's so nice to meet you all. <laughs> <laughs> it's been awesome. The comments have been super fun. All right, Mackenzie, thank you so much. Thank you. Sheila, thank bye. you. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Bye, Facebook. Bye. bye. And you were like, yeah, my boyfriend. That's why I was lying in the back.